Hey what's poppin guys, Sizzle here, and this is going to be a quick guide on how you can easily install mods for Lethal Company. It's like a, like a two second thing. Uh, first off, you go to thunderstore.io, that's where all the mods are anyway. Even without this kind of modeler thing I'm about to show off, this is where you would just download the mod files, right? You get manual download. Uh, but what you're going to do instead, there's where it says get the Thunderstore app, hit get app, and get app. And it will download. And once it's downloaded, you will have something like this, Thunderstore Mod Manager. When it opens up like this, you'll see it'll be like warming up or whatever. They'll have ads and that's that's fine. I mean, look, it's a free service. They don't have them playing audio. The ads are literally there just to support the people that make this stuff. Uh, and for you guys, it'll look something like this. Uh, since most people just want mods for one game at a time, they have a really cool option where you can hit set as default. So in my case, I've been playing a lot of Lethal Company, so I hit set as default. And then every time I boot this app, it'll be like it just was where I was on Lethal Company. What you can do from here is you can either hit create new to create new profiles, or you know if you have multiple profiles, you can click on them to kind of see what they have inside. So in my case, let's select profile on default. Uh, and you can see all the different mods I have installed, right? And to do that, I just went to get mods and I got the ones you needed. Uh, for the case of Lethal Company, you specifically need the Beppin X-Pack to kind of make everything work. Uh, and then some cool mods I really like are Mora Company, which lets you have lobbies with up to 40 people, which is a crazy amount. But I basically use it to play with a group of like six or so. Uh, Late Company, which lets people join your game like while it's still going on. Uh, reserved flashlight slot. This one I just installed recently. Gives you like a fifth slot just for flashlights, which I personally like having. Uh, more items. Let's you have more items on the ship. Uh, lethal fashion. Gives you all of the suits that are actually already in the game just right away for free. Uh, this one I like because the suits don't really give you anything. And it can just be nice so that people have more customization. And by the way, the uh, more company one also gives you a bunch of different hats and stuff. Uh, then faster ladders, because the ladders are slow as fuck. Faster rocket, because the rotter is slow as fuck. Uh, weather multiplier, because basically in the actual game, if you go to something with weather, uh, you won't get any more money or anything. It'll just be harder to excavate stuff from the place. Uh, but what this does is it gives you more value for the items that are got in on a planet that has weather. Uh, and yeah, then the last one I have is Hunt Down, which basically if you kill a specific mob that's picked, in, uh, picked randomly each day, you'll get one item when you kill that mob as like a drop. It gives you like kind of an incentive to work toward if it's not just collecting stuff, which is pretty fun. Uh, but once you have all your mods, which by the way, you just... To install any of it, you just hit this, and then you hit download, and it literally just downloads just like that. Uh, once you're done, if you just click modded, it'll actually boot the game from Steam for you. The important thing to recognize is it will not inject this into your files on Steam, right? So this here is my shortcut for Lethal Company from Steam. If I go open it here, you'll see in a sec, right, that Lethal Company will actually boot up. But when I'm on the main menu, it'll just be Lethal Company. I won't have any of my mods, any of my fancy stuff, anything cool. Right, if I hit online, you'll see the, uh, the title screen says Lethal Company. Right, everything about this is Lethal Company. If I host uh, a game, we're in Lethal Company. Right, nothing nothing crazy going on here. Right, it's, it's literally just Lethal Company. Stock, Lethal Company, no mods. Literally zero mods enabled here. All right, that's why I'll quit out. And just completely quit out. So don't boot the game this way. Anything that you want mods on, the mods are actually stored within the Thunderstore launcher itself, which is actually really cool because it means that they will update the mods for you on their end. So you never have to worry about updating mods and stuff. And Steam will obviously update the game for you. So you basically have everything auto updating for you. If you just hit modded, it'll say Lethal Company is launching via Steam. Something will pop up for a second that launches it via Steam. And now you can see in the background, I guess you can't see in the background because I <laughs> had it set to window capture that. You can see, right? Launch mode, go online. And you'll see right away our mods have definitely loaded. We have more company. We have our little cosmetic menu right here. These are the cosmetics you know, I like to run. If I go into like my own file here, you'll see there was a crew size option that's default set to 20. That's how many people can join that way. Some of the mods you can't see right away. Like when I invite friends, uh, this won't get grayed out if I have a full lobby. 
Uh, you can see all the suits right away. These suits were not here on the previous file. And just kind of like everything like that. It's it's pretty cool. And you can even see in the bottom right, the fifth flashlight slot. Very, very cool stuff. And uh, yeah, that's how you install mods for Lethal Company. Nice and simple. Those are all the mods I like having installed. Uh, some of the mods, like More Company, everybody that you're playing with has to have installed. But some of the mods, like the one that unlocks all the suits, you know, the faster ship, the faster ladders, are actually uh, host side. So if, as long as you're the guy hosting the lobby, it'll work for everybody else without having them install anything. So yeah. Uh, hopefully you found this useful. Comment below if you still have any questions. And uh, have a great rest of your day.